Hello, welcome to A-Level Sociology. Um, I'm going to quickly run through what uh, what sociology entails and what you might want to do with sociology um, after you've finished your, your A-Levels in it. Um, we study the uh, Cambridge International A-Level here and uh, some of the key themes that we'll be looking at throughout the whole course over the two years, which I'll say a little bit, a little bit about uh, in a moment, uh, are these. Um, inequality, uh, issues of inequality, issues of opportunity, um, issues around power, around control, um, around resistance. Uh, we'll look at the phenomenon of social change, how society changes um, over time. It's not something that just stays uh, static. Um, and how it develops and the forces um, that are at play in social change and in development. Uh, we'll look at the, the, the process of socialization, how we become social beings, how we become social people. Uh, we'll look at uh, culture, the, uh, what, what culture means, how uh, different societies have different cultures and what's the difference between society and culture. And we'll look at identity, um, how you form your own identities, uh, what are the differences between uh, personal identities and uh, and collective identities? And then we'll also look at this uh, quite abstract um, distinction between structure and human agency, um, which is really what uh, motivates our behaviour. Do we have the power to motivate our behaviour, or are we uh, are we uh, motivated by other forces? The course is split up into two years, um, and in each year there are two papers. The first paper is all about these questions of socialization and identity. It's also about methods of research, which is how do we do sociological research? Uh, what kind of methods uh, uh, do we uh, use to get our data uh, from? Paper two, we'll be looking at the family. We've, we've all got families, uh, but there'll all be different kinds and types of families. Um, across the world, you'll find many diff different types. Uh, so we'll, we'll be looking at uh, family, the role of the family, how the family has changed over time, the different roles within the family, and so on. In the second year, we'll be looking at uh, education. Well, we all know a lot about that because we're all involved in it at the minute, uh, but we'll be understanding it in a much more detail, much more depth um, in the second year for paper three. And then in paper four, we have a choice, we have options. We have to choose two of three options. Globalization, media and religion. All very interesting, they're all very inter interrelated. Um, and depending on the interests of the group, uh, we can uh, choose which ones we do from there. We will come across various people as we study sociology, um, such as Emile Durkheim, the famous French sociologist, um, who had a lot to say about uh, how society um, functions, how it holds, to, how it holds together, also uh, around issues like religion. We'll meet Max Weber, um, a German, um, who had lots of very interesting things to say about what motivates human action and how we need to understand action um, uh, in, in many different ways. And then we'll come across another German, uh, for, uh, Karl Marx, um, who again had lots of very interesting things to say about society, the, the forces at work, how power uh, was distributed, and uh, and why does the family take on a particular f on on the particular form that it does? What's the relationship between the family and the economy? What's the relationship between the economy and and politics. So we'll be discussing all of these different issues, but it's not just about kind of old hairy men. Um, uh, sociology is uh, is relevant. It's about the world around you. It's about understanding the world around you. As I said, it's about social, looking at social change. Um, so we'll be looking a lot at uh, feminism uh, and uh, looking a lot at ethnicity and race. Um, and the way people express these identities and uh, and and create forms of resistance, 
um, and of course how all of this relates to you know topical issues such as climate change um, and so on. If you uh, want to study sociology further uh, there are lots of options and opportunities to do so. Most universities will have a sociology um, department. Um, uh, whether you uh, want to go to Ox Oxbridge or not, um, and usually those departments are very well respected and very well embedded in the university. Um, you may uh, not want to do a pure sociology um, degree and in fact at the University of Oxford even though they have a department for sociology they don't actually have a degree course called sociology. The reason why is because um, sociology is relevant in uh, in many other subjects so uh, for example in, in PPE uh, philosophy, politics and economics, in history and politics, in human sciences. Um, so they offer modules and courses within these subjects. So if you are interested in, in any of these uh, subjects, then sociology is also relevant to you. Um, other universities do have sociology courses and departments. Um, here, here are some of the London universities. Uh, they all offer um, sociology courses. Um, anthropology is a subject uh, very related to sociology as well. So if you are interested in not just society but around diversity of societies across the world um, and how they differ from each other, uh, then anthropology is going to be an interesting subject to you. But beyond university, what can you do with sociology? Well, there's lots of things that you can do. Um, and uh, you could, for example, go and work for a research organization, learning all of the skills about research that you have and all of the issues uh, that we study in sociology. Um, you could go to work for a, a research organization. And, uh, and here are two that I've put on the screen. And these research organizations, um, research issues around the economy, around jobs and skills, around society and migration, power and politics, the environment, public services, housing, the list goes on. Okay, and uh, and these research organisations directly feed into governments. So uh, governments and political parties will take their policies from uh, these kinds of research organisations. And so if you want to be at the cutting edge of, of politics, of research in politics, of developing policies that actually change people's lives and change society, uh, then uh, sociology is the subject for you. Um, and uh, with that, uh, I hope you will consider it and I hope to see you um, in a class soon.